Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day. Um, today, I'm really, really excited. The other day, I was watching a few of my friends play with a marble. Uh, Nate Bright did a piece with a ghost pour and a marble, and then my friend Kelly Stoll from Feral Art also used a marble in one of hers, and I was like, wow, I haven't done that in a really long time. And one of my favorite pieces that I did use a marble in was called Under the Mushroom, and it was really beautiful. It was this burnt orange and, and uh, Quinacridone Nicolazzo gold and yellow. It was so pretty and then it had these lines and it was just really, really pretty. So I'll link that one up here for you. Under the Mushroom was the inspiration for this pour. We're using a different palette tonight, but that same technique. We're gonna do two wandering ring pours and uh, see what happens from there. Okay, so this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artists Loft. Get these at Michael's. Like right now they're on sale. Buy one, get two free. You can get some really good deals. So also check out the Pro Pack option with their app because um, you get six in a Pro Pack and it's usually a better price. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so 24 by 30, painted the edges and sides, taped and pinned the back. That's ready to go. And for once it's level, which is really nice. First color we're using, one of my favorites, Golden's Prussian Blue. Um, my paint is on the thicker side tonight because we're gonna be doing ring pours. So I want the lines to hold their shape. My pouring medium is that Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and Floetrol and water. And this time I kind of experimented with more water than I usually put and a little bit less Floetrol to see how that goes. And so far it looks pretty cool. So this is a Golden's Prussian Blue. Then next we are using Hebio Studios Iridescent Blue Green. I love this color. It is so pretty, just dreamy and ethereal and gorgeous. A little bit lighter than the metallic cobalt that I love from Artist's Loft. So that's really pretty. Pevio Studios and Fluid Art Co. is now carrying the big Pevio Studios. So you can get them over there, which is awesome. The next one we have is my ongoing love affair, Amsterdam Pearl Yellow. I love her. She's just so pretty. So beautiful and just creamy like marshmallow fluff with some gold on it. I love this. Amsterdam pearl yellow. And then Miss Marigold is back. I love her. This is the combination of the Quinacridone Nicolazzo gold and the DecoArt 24 karat gold. And I love this. I just think it's so pretty. It's such a beautiful, almost like saffron or turmeric or something. Just gorgeous. But I love that marigold color. I think you put the 24 karat gold in there just to shut me up. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I never want to shut you up. Heavy. Okay, and then last but not least, we have some Amsterdam Titanium White because we like contrast. Okay, so what we're going to do, I am actually going to layer two cups tonight instead of using my split cup. So let's start with... I'm going to have the Prussian Blue as my base coat background color, so I want to start with something light. So we're going to start with some Pearl Yellow, and I'm going to layer these both the same. But we're going to pour them from opposite ends, so they're going to be really, really cool. And we're going to come in with some of that Marigold. And then let's put a little bit of white in there. Do the Prussian first. And then we're going to use the part. iridescent blue green. Ah, so pretty already. And we're going to go, let's do a little bit of white first. And then we'll get into the marigold again. Like your creaky gloves. Traction, baby, traction. I don't want to drop the cup. Right? Right. I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. HOA spoiled me rotten and uh, took very good care of me. I had a great time with him and the kids. It was awesome. 
Thank you for being such a good mother. <laughs> I am a mother. <laughs> You're the best mother. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the moms and everyone momming. <laughs> Enjoy your little ones. Hug them often while well, they still let you and want you to. Okay, we're going to fill these all the way up. Of course you are. Well, for that size canvas, we need about 26 ounces of paint. Each of these is a 16-ounce cup. That makes 32 ounces if I filled them all the way up. So, ha! The coon knows so much. <laughs> Yeah, but you always fill them all the way up anyway. Well, that's just because I'm addicted to pretty colors of paint. <laughs> and, you, and you like options. I do like options. If you have extra paint, you have extra options. That's right, it's insurance. Okay, so, okay. Those are so pretty already. I love that. Okay, so we're gonna do one across the top here and then one more underneath that. And the goal is to connect the two of them. But I do want a little bit of the base coat to show through, so I don't want them touching each other. I do want that base coat visible. So to that effect, I'm going to lay down a little runway. This is my Prussian blue base coat color. A little thinner than that stuff. All right. So let's see, we're going to put this about here. And I kind of want a thicker layer on there because I want it to move. Okay, just going to move that down a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Here we go. We're going to do a wandering ring pour across the canvas. That's cool. I love it. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty in there. I love this lighter green that's happening and these marigold line. Oh, okay, yeah, happy. Okay, so, and that's a good amount of flow extender. We're gonna put a little bit more down though. Okay. And I'm gonna turn this around. We're gonna pour it like right over here. Okay. Well, you were booking. <laughs> <laughs> well, speed is important because that whipping motion kind of gives you these nice smooth lines. So speed is definitely important when you're doing it. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit on the corners. There's plenty of paint on here. As we say, a dry canvas is a thirsty canvas. We don't want to risk losing our composition, which is why we pour it on the background like that. So I have this much left to tilt before I even get anywhere near my pour, which is fine. I'm just going to go over the corners. Look at this for a second though. I really like this and I really like this. I like all of this. I love all of these too. That's really cool. Okay. And I'm glad that we have that little bit of a river of the Prussian blue in the center because that's going to give us options for later on. Let's find the way to the paint and we're going to just walk this down nice and easy to spread it out.
And by going nice and easy like that, then you actually keep your lines and composition intact. We're going to go off of this corner now. Right away. And bring it back towards me. take a little bit off the bottom because it's still moving pretty fast. what's happening in here. I love all of these lines. I like the flow of them. I like the shape of them. I love all the different layers of colors that we're getting with a little bit of blending, but we're still seeing that beautiful, strong Prussian blue and the iridescent blue-green and the marigold. The pearl yellow is, I guess, what's mixing here and giving us that green color, but I don't mind it. I like it. I love these. This looks very flamey, HOA. Mm. <laughs> but we are going to do one more thing. HOA, I hate to tell you this, darling, but I have lost my marbles. <laughs> I think we all knew that a long time ago. <laughs> but quite literally, I have lost my marbles. So instead of using a marble, we're going to be using a golf ball because they're good. They're fun. Okay, so let's see. I think we're going to put this like this. And we're going to put him right about here. All right. Are you ready, darling? I got lost. Okay. Let's cross our fingers and hope this works. It's been a while since I've done this. start maybe like over here. Let me turn this in. All right, ready darling? Mm -hmm.
That's pretty cool. Do you think we need just a tiny bit in through this section? I think uh, we do. I think it would embellish would help. You can also roll the, the, the ball. You don't have to tilt. might give you a little better control because it's got those flat sides actually I down. feel each one of those the marble is actually a little smoother so but I think we still did okay I love this what do you think yeah that's really cool I think I want one just coming from over here Well, this is pretty cool. I'm going to turn it around because I think that's the top. Oops, there goes the golf ball. <laughs> but I love this. I think this is really pretty. I love that marigold color. I love it with the Prussian blue. I really like that iridescent blue-green. And the pearl yellow is in there. And uh, this is really, really nifty. So I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, if you can, please like and share the video. That always means so much to us, and I love always to read your comments. So we'll be right back with dried results. Okay, this is a few days later and it's drying now. Uh, this one turned out really, really cool. I love these lines. All these beautiful lines from our double wandering ring pour with that beautiful marigold in there and the iridescent blue green and the Prussian blue. And then of course along this edge where we did the marble. Looks really, really pretty over here this very flamey section <laughs> this one turned out really really cool I like this a lot we did get a little bit more blending in this area that created that pretty light green color which I'm assuming is from the pearl yellow and either the Prussian or the iridescent blue green but this turned out really really pretty I like this one a lot I love these lines in here from the marble or the golf ball excuse me <laughs> um, and down on this corner a little bit more. I love this section, it's just so pretty. Really neat, fun stuff. And then in here, this was so cool. I was looking at this when I came out, right in that center in that dark Prussian part, there's actually a little bit of the iridescent blue-green and it's kind of made it very sparkly and shimmery in there. Pretty cool. That's so cool though right there, I love that. But this was really fun. I enjoyed this one a lot. I hope you guys did too. Um, I hope you will check out the other video under the mushroom because that one was a lot of fun. I love all those colors. That marigold is just, it's really special. It's really pretty and blingy and a nice pop color, which I really, really like a lot. And I love that blue-green and the turquoise. Gorgeous. The Prussian blue is really pretty. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I will be teaching classes at PORCON in Las Vegas, August 6th through 9th. Uh, please check out the website there at www.porcon.com and you can register for classes. And I hope we see you there because it's going to be an awesome time. Thanks for being here with us today. Bye-bye.